Whoa. This is a huge snake. You can see this guy's about to strike. He's loading up at the moment. Oh. So we've just found the first mangrove cat snake up in this tree. I'm gonna climb up and grab it out. So he almost had to get his hand amputated from a bite from this species. Yes. Big King Cobra, out here in the jungle of Borneo. This is one of the species that we wanted to film out here. Out here, there is no anti-venom. So if you get bitten, good luck surviving. The wildlands of Borneo is an ecosystem that is filled with life. Animals and trees that are endemic to this country, meaning they're found nowhere else in the world. It's a country that I've always wanted to spend time exploring and for the past two weeks, we've been out here living in the jungle with the locals, looking for some of the deadliest. I think we might have got that. Oh. Oh. Okay, Harry. Okay. Some of the rarest, there is a big male orangutan just walking out right now. He is massive. And some of the most unusual creatures to walk this earth. So we've just spotted a false swamp toad. Might climb up here and see if I can grab him. Got him. Whoa, he is massive. <laughs> This is my final episode here in Borneo, and once again, it's gonna be a pretty crazy one. Enjoy. <laughs> so this is a blood python out here in the village. They're a very fast species of snake, very fast striking species. We'll see if he goes to the camera or me in a minute. He's looking at me. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Did he get you? No, he didn't get me. They're a beautiful species of snake. Very fat, very small. Oh! Ooh, well, there he goes. Really fast. Very fast as well. Very fast snake. Non-venomous though, if I got bitten, I'd be totally okay. But they live down in holes inside the ground. So when their holes fill up with water, they'll have to come out here and that's when they can come in contact with villages. Pretty cool though. Look at that blood python. Ooh, that's gonna be great shot. <laughs> I'd have to say the craziest experience I had while I was over in Borneo was working with that giant five meter king cobra deep in the jungle. Take a look at that right there. This is a massive snake. This is what we were looking for out here in the jungle of Borneo. And he's looking at me right now. He was just eyeing off my cameraman. This is a species that you do not want to get bitten by all the way out here. So he's fixated on my guide at the moment. And what I'm going to do is slowly pick it up. Being very careful. Oh, take a look at that. Big King Cobra out here in the jungle of Borneo. Look at that. That is a magnificent snake. And a snake big enough to take down an elephant with the amount of venom that it carries in its venom glands. And a snake big enough to take down 20 of me. You can't get bitten by this snake out here. Highly venomous species, but a beautiful animal. An absolutely amazing animal. And this experience right here is what I wanted to have coming to the wild lands of Borneo, out here in the jungle, looking for these snakes, looking for orangutans, looking for all these animals. And I'm gonna remember this moment right here, but gotta be very careful. I'm gonna put him back down. <laughs> and we did so many other crazy things on this trip to Borneo. It's hard to choose just one, but that whole day was so intense. We started off the morning catching a baby king cobra, then a five meter king cobra, spitting cobra, one of the most venomous snakes on earth, the red-headed crate. And right after filming that big king cobra, we even found a giant reticulated python, the longest snake in the world. I'll show you a clip. Take a look at this right here. That is a massive reticulated python out here in the jungle. So. This is a huge snake. Very strong animal. Take a look at the size of him. Oh. Come on, buddy. Oh. You're okay. Whoa. He's got a mouth filled with fangs and he's incredibly strong. They're the longest species of snake in the world. Longer than the anacondas. 
On this adventure, we found so many different snakes so far. About an hour ago, you can see this guy's about to strike. He's loading up at the moment. Whoa. We found a big king cobra, five meters long. And now we found this guy. And I can tell when he's about to strike, he kind of gives me a warning. He opens up his mouth a little bit. I'll see if I can move around, if we'll do it again, all right? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow. There we go. You know, that's not a warning that a small animal, or when they get big enough, even a human will get, because they're camouflage hunters. He'll be sitting next to a game trail, waiting for someone or something to walk past, strike out, wrap it up in that body, and this snake would be so strong. Every breath that animal takes, he'll squeeze tighter. He'll keep squeezing tighter until there's no air left in the animal, and then he will swallow it whole. Absolutely amazing snake. I reckon I might bring him out into the open a little bit and see if we can get him to calm down and actually handle him. Whoa. Nearly got me, mate. We'll just lift him up right now. Whoa. There we go. You can kind of get a bit of an understanding about how big this snake is right now. He is massive. This trip to Borneo has seriously been crazy. We've spent a lot of the time out here in the bush looking for snakes and it's paying off because we found some epic creatures, epic animals and had some crazy experiences. And this is what I wanted coming out here. And this is what I'm gonna be filming for the next few years on my videos. So if you wanna be a part of this journey, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment down below. And yeah, you get to see more adventures like this. I'm so tired right now. We're gonna keep walking through this forest to see if we can find some other snakes. But mate, I'm stoked with that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, looking back on that day, that was such an intense and crazy day. No margin for error. One mistake out there with any of those species, especially something like a big king cobra, will cost you your life. But now I have all of these amazing experiences, the most amazing things I've ever done in my life. And little did I know later that night, I would have a connection with a certain animal that I still think about and feel to this day. So this is what people have as pets over here in Borneo. So this is the biggest water monitor lizard that I have ever seen. And I'm just chilling with him right now. Oh, there he goes. He's climbing over me. He's okay. The, the, the hand is almost the same like your, your... Such an incredible lizard. Look at the size of him. Now out in the wild, these guys would be feeding on fish, other lizards, and snakes. Also, yeah, snakes and also controlling the snake population too because they eat the snake eggs. So we're going out in the speedboat at the moment looking for mangrove cat snakes. Just as it's getting dark, we'll probably stay out there after dark, see what we can find. Also big saltwater crocodiles living in this creek as well alongside these snakes. So we've just found the first mangrove cat snake, a mildly venomous species in the Boiga family up in this tree. We're above croc water at the moment. I'm gonna climb up and grab it out. You stand nice, 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 nice. All right. All right. So we got him right here. Yes, please. There we go. There we go. Woo. Big fella. All right, I'll let him get through that. We got enough torches here for you to not have one. Well, I got one. There we go. Oh, this oh. Yeah. All right, bring him down. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yes. So we're just out here in the mangroves in saltwater crocodile country, and I just caught this big mangrove cat snake. 
a mildly venomous species of snake out here in the mangroves, but he's such a gorgeous animal. This is the snake that we were looking for, the one we wanted to find out here in Borneo, and we did it. And they're an arboreal species, meaning they spend most of their life up there in the canopy. And what he's feeding on out here in the mangroves, little birds, little lizards, mainly a diet of birds like the Boiga irregularis. Their scientific name is Boiga dendropila. Boiga dendropila, the scientific name of this species. And this whole family of Boiga irregularis, Boiga whatever I just said, <laughs> um, they're beautiful snakes. Yeah, that is honestly one of the most amazing colored and gentle snakes that I've ever caught. Good sign. Honestly crazy how much this snake has calmed down since we first caught it. I think you can feel the good energy, those good vibes. And you can really get a deeper connection with an animal like this. Just looking into this snake's eyes right now. Very powerful animal. You can see how the people around this area don't kill these snakes because they believe that they carry black magic. There is also a case that some community here got bitten with this his his hand is swollen so maybe he had an allergic reaction to the allergic venom? reaction to the venom the doctor almost amputated his hand because the blood <laughs> the, 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 so he almost okay. had to get his hand amputated from a bite from the species yes some of it just it's just a very few case you know? very few case very and few it case. can happen it with can happen any snake bite mildly venomous mildly snake venomous or anything snake. yes there you go mate Thank you for that experience, mate. That is awesome. All right, let's go find some more. Shine on. <laughs> you got one. Pretty epic catch. Be careful of the crocodiles. It's alright, the crocodile doesn't like local people. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Pretty crazy catch by the boys. They spotted this snake actually swimming across the river. Jumped in after it before I could tell them to stop because this river is infested with crocodiles. But they managed to get him, eh? They say that the crocodiles don't eat locals because they're too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> we got another mangrove cat snake right there. The snake that we were looking for tonight. Pretty epic night out here looking for these snakes. Alright, get it out of the water. <laughs> Yeah, I still think about that mangrove cat snake and feel that connection to this day. I'm definitely gonna go back in the next 12 months and we'll see if she can find me again. Yeah, magical snake. The next day, my mate Diaz wanted to show me one of his pet king cobras. So we took it out to the jungle and what we wanted to show you is that these snakes do have venom. They're still dangerous. They're not like the ones in the snake charmer documentaries that have had their fangs removed. I was getting a few comments saying that these snakes must have had their fangs removed. If this next clip doesn't change your mind about that, I don't think anything will. So this right here is a big king cobra out here in the jungle of Borneo. This is one of the species that we wanted to film out here. 
It's so cool to film these guys again, but this one right here is a different locality. So you can see those amazing colors that he's got on him. And if I grab him like this, he's straight onto me. If I just pick him up like this right now, they're the longest venomous snake in the world. And the scientific name for these king cobras is Opio Pagus Hana, which means snake eater. They're a cannibalistic snake. So this guy in his lifetime would have definitely eaten a few other king cobras and other species of snakes out here in the jungle. So by controlling those snake populations, there's not heaps of snakes that are going into villages' houses here, getting in contact with people. And you can see, got to be very careful when dealing with this snake like this because out here, there is no anti-venom. So if you get bitten, good luck surviving. They have huge venom glands at the front of their mouth right there. Okay guys, to prove this snake, are still have a fang. So it's not a fangless or to have a venom. We'll see, okay? So what we're doing right now is just milking this big king cobra to show you that these guys do have venom. Ready? Oh, look at that. And if that went into your system, all of that venom right there, you would be in so much trouble out here in the bush. So the reason why this snake right here can kill you in 30 minutes is because they have a neurotoxic venom that is very potent. One of the most venomous snakes on earth. And not only that, they have so much venom in those massive venom glands. Because they're the biggest venomous snake in the world, their venom glands are absolutely massive. Enough venom to kill an elephant, and enough venom to kill 20 of us standing right here. Yeah. But yeah, pretty crazy. Look at the fang. So they have a Proteroglypha fang uh, belong to the Elapid family, yeah. like Black Mamba, Green Mamba, and also Taipan, Inland Taipan too, from yeah. Australia. They have also Proteroglypha fang. Yeah, like this one. Small, but deadly. Deadly. <laughs> and that concludes my two-week trip over in Borneo, a country filled with so many beautiful people, so much amazing flora and fauna. I love Borneo and I'm so grateful that I could share this whole experience with you here on my channel on YouTube. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this series. It was a really awesome one to film and I get to take all those experiences that I had over in that country back here with me, which I'm so grateful for. What I'm gonna leave you with now is a montage of some of my favorite moments that I've spent out here in the bush in Borneo. And yeah, thank you so much for watching them. I'll see you all next week in the next adventure. So just above me right here is the first orangutan that we've actually found on foot. So after spotting a highly venomous snake way up in the canopy a few trees away from her, I knew it'd be the perfect opportunity to test out my climbing skills. So you can see just up in this tree, big pit viper. Number one tree, now number two tree. There we go. He's much crazier than me. Good job. <laughs> Two clever people. Mangrove cat snake up in this tree right here. They're a mildly venomous snake. So if I got bitten, I would be okay, but still not a species that you want to get a big dose of venom injected by. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. He's oh. just got me on the finger. Oh. Take a look at that. Woo. Yes, got him. And he got me as well. What we're about to film right now is something that you do have to be extremely careful of out here in the jungles of Borneo. Luckily enough for me, this is actually a captive animal. And if I just put my hand underneath him, I'll lift him up. So this is the biggest species of crocodile in the world. Just another day in Borneo. <laughs> The big crocodile in this pool, they say it's about five meters long and it's actually a rescued crocodile. <coughs> oh, take a look at that. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So this crocodile right here, his name is Sandpit and it's because he was relocated from this river. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. Timba Borneo say crocodile. Thank you. Just underneath his chin is a little leech. 
put them around my head so his body's not hanging down. And we're trying to help you out, mate. You're okay. There we go. So that leeches off. These leeches will suck your blood and they're a bit annoying, so get that one off the snake. You're okay, mate. Hear that little noisy, mate? Mm. Look, I move his body around and his head stays still. <laughs> like a gimbal. Yeah, a gimbal. Is that a good shot? <laughs> so just down this hole right here is a big tarantula. They are venomous. And if I got bitten out here, they do have very big fangs. <laughs> Crazy man. <laughs> oop, 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 he bite me. <laughs> I don't want to bother you, my brother. So let's go, okay? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. Come back. Beautiful. So, 11 years old, maybe about five or so years ago, he would have just been leaving his mother. They stay with their mother for about five to seven years in the wild, which is a long time. The only longer time is humans, which can be up to 40 years. So this is the durian fruit. The orangutans absolutely love it out here and the locals love it as well. Little sun shower out here in Borneo. We're on the way back now, it started raining. How good, mate. Okay, ready? Ready, ready? Sato, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, Mila, what happened? Oh, okay. Money <laughs> kick! <laughs> Baria! <laughs> you gotta predict when he's coming up. Let's go! Australia wins! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let's do it again! Okay! <laughs>